Hello everyone, the 13 Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Shadows of Our Loathing. So we got a whole frat house we gotta see. Um, I'm just completely surrounded by piles of ill. Sounds like a Rakakis party is happening inside there. Okay. Oh my god, I'm deaf. Okay. Um, okay, hold on, can I just... The volume of this radio is turned up to an irresponsible level. I agree. This frat guy is throwing food at a makeshift dummy. His precision is uncanny. Talk to him. Hi, I'm Viola. What's up, pal? I'm Gordo. Hi, Gordo. Hi, Gordo. Uh, you're really going to town on that training dummy. Yeah, I picked this up in the army. You were in the army? Yeah, I was in the Cola Wars. Saw things you wouldn't believe. True horror. Wait, how old are you? 31. Huh. I... Well, I guess that explains your skill with thrown food. You learned that in the army? Yeah, except it wasn't much learning as being experimented on by military scientists with a highly dubious ethic. Eth I was gonna say ethicals, but uh, ethics, pal. Wow, what'd they do to you? Maybe drink a bunch of experimental super soldier syrup. Crazy stuff. I barely remember any of what happened to me, but the nightmares will follow me forever. Jeez. Do you have any of that syrup left? The super soldier syrup? Yeah, I stole a whole case of it on my way out. Can I have some? <laughs> yeah. I can give you a dose, but not for free, pal. You gotta bring me a treat. What kind of treat? I need three cups of triple mint tea. They got them at the Goldsmith Park Botanical Garden in Ocean City. Got it. Okay, well, that's a good idea. Ahead of his time. This guy's certainly cutting a rug. This guy is still dancing in spite of obvious nausea. As I see kid dance to a different beat. This frat guy is just doing a little grilling. Indoors. Ask him how it's going. Hi, um, is it safe to grill indoors like that? I mean, it's not my house, so whatever. Fair enough. Can't really get the taste I'm looking for, though. Say, can I get you to do me a favor? Sure, what is it? I got a buddy over at Phi Epsilon Tau. His bergs always come out super good. Some kind of special wood chips or something. Would you go over there and get some for me? I gotta stay here, because I gotta watch the queue. Okay, thanks. Uh, there's a necktie hanging on this doorknob on the knob of the store and you refuse to find out what that means. Man. This recliner has a sign that says free, which you assume means something other than being free of stains. Drag it back to your room. Oh wow, I went all the way back to my room. Recliner's terrible, but the price is right. Sit in it for a while. Yeah. You sit in your terrible chair until you can't stand the stench anymore and then you keep sitting in it until you get used to the stench. Ooh. Hello, you awful little creature. All right. I guess I have that now. So we have to go to Goldthwaite Park anyway. Oh, now I can hear my brain. Uh, I'm good, though. You run into the pants salesman from before. He looks delighted to see you. Hey, hey, knew you couldn't keep away from a deal like this. It's just a coincidence. He pulls out his wax slacks. Proof against grease, oil, lubricants, all kind. Yours for only 20 meat. No thanks. Passing up on the chance of a lifetime, but alright. Maybe next time then. Continue on my way. Is the tentacle house still a tentacle house? Groundskeeper looks to, for a job well done by somebody else. Talk to him. Thanks for helping. Goldthwaite Park is looking ship shape thanks to you. It was nothing. Okay. Fountain. Right, I forgot about that. Wait. This is just water. I need to get out of there before I go insane, okay? He said they sell it in Goldsmith Park. Where? He found it the world's least remarkable rock. I disagree. Hmm. Where do I... 
Where do I buy it in Goldsworth? Oh, that's, there he is. Plain sword leaves, buy some tea. Uh, we need three, two, three, because that's what we need for the one guy. Uh, bus stop, back to SIT, and we'll go back to the house. Oh, look, robot drinks. Gabby, point, Gabby points out an elaborate contraption nearby. Takes you a second to recognize it, but it's one of those meat-operated soda coolers. Oh, it's it's just one of the things with the, the robot thing with the arm that opens only the lid. Bottle of bone soda. Ooh. All right, uh, join, join the ruckus. Here. Gordo is still hucking food at the dummy, and his aim hasn't faltered. Oh, how's it going, Gordo? Oh, you know, another day, another flashback to atrocities of war. Did you bring me my treat, pal? Yeah, I got it right here. You got Super Soldier Syrup. Increases the damage of your ranged weapon attacks by five or until you use another potion. Don't mention it. Unless you decide to want more later, in which case, mention it. You got it. Good to know. The store is stuck with dried pudding. This couch is moss growing over it. Squeeze it. Powerful grit. Oh, I don't have any sleeve armor. This dessert cart is cleared out of most things near it. Check under the covers. Got some baklava and some baklava. A hat. Huh. You find some baklava wrapped in a baklava. All a cob, but I can't. I tried. Okay, so I need sleaze armor? Do I have things for that? Meat spray, maximum. Sticality, no. Purpose is a mystery. Members give me bleeding, banish shadow creatures. Uh, man, I'm not going to find enough sleeves armor, am I? I might be wrong. Private restaurant badge. Do we have any other sleeves armor? It's stench. Spooky, muscle, uh, cold. Physical. Let's see if it lets me open the door now that I just increased it by four. Man, barely not enough. Oh, maybe somewhere else I'll get it. Alright. Uh, stench armor. I need sleeves. I'll have to, like, look around some more or something. Ugh, everyone spilled cantaloupe all over the stairs. How does that even happen? Uh, what? From the grunting and shouting, there is either a brawl or a sporting event taking place in there. Possibly both. Barge and enjoy in it. Oh. It, it is both. All right. Wow. This is significantly more quiet. Okay. Raise all my stats. Whew. There we go. I'm fine with that. Eh, still fine with that. Ooh. Come on, kill it. No. We're close. All right. Um, okay, so we need five. Eh, that would do nine. That'll do seven. 
Um, yeah, we'll go with that. And then we'll just go ahead and hit you like we would a regular. Because that would just take one hit. Boom. Good and bye. Uh, you held your own pretty well in there. As such, you're now holding some of theirs as well. You got Jocelyn Pom Poms. Oh. Cool. 61 meat and shoe fly got stronger. I'll take it. Young lady is operating a still here. Uh, talk to her. You must be a chemicals student, right? Good guess, but no. I'm basically a hobo. I've been renting out my services, and this portable still makes ends meet. Still doesn't look very portable. Oh, it's much lighter than you'd expect. I see. Well, that still doesn't look very portable. Ask about hobo code. Hey, do you know any hobo code you could teach me? Oh, sure. Some say the booze-related glyphs are the most useful ones. Hobo code knowledge increased. Uh, there's a hobo camp. Yeah, there's a big hobo camp over near Ocean City. But your skills would be really popular there. Yeah, I heard about that. I was saving up to buy a new hat first, though. I want to put my best foot forward, you know? Seriously, I don't think they mind. I know, but it's for my own self-confidence. I wouldn't expect a woman who owns her own still to have issues of self-confidence. Oh, I don't drink the stuff. You could use it to degrease industrial machinery. Uh, how much you need for your hat? Uh, 87 meat. That is a lot. But okay. Oh, I'll cover you. Oh, wow. You sure? Yeah, it's no problem. Thanks so much. Come see me at the camp and I'll pay you back later. She waves. Uh, she packs up her, uh, her still, hefts it under her back, and leaves with a wave. But I got 15 XP for him. I'll take that. Um, Gold-plated door as a sign that says C. Chutney. Seems reasonable to assume C stands for Chadley. Most of the books on the shelf have been ruined, but not all of them? No, not all of them. One of them still looks good, so here you go. Sloppy cooking for huge groups. Grant's fondue dolge. Light up random foes on... Wait, light up random foes for a total of five on fire. Wow. Fraternity's communal wardrobe. Check inside. You got a wire coat hanger. Beneath your standards, you find some clothes. Just barely above them, you find the coat hanger. Okay. So I need stench for that one. So... Stench. You can tell from five feet away that this door leads to the bathroom. Ooh, just a pile of toilet shards. Uh, this toilet still works, but its spirit is broken. Flush it. Even... That even sounds horrible. How did they get the audio for that one? This is either a special toilet or a really tall guy named Art or a toilet hung by a genius. Valid. Okay, let's put your uh, glasses back on just in case. All right, let's go inside. You sneak into Chad's room and dump the rotting fish out onto his bed. After tonight's inevitable rager, he'll stagger back to his room and pass out without even noticing him. Perfect crime. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Oh. Okay, so... Um... Got that. Three pounds of eggs from the fishman. That's right. And then we have to go to the neighbor place. SIT student wearing a bulky overcoat flags you down as you're crossing the street. Hoing. Hello? Do you find yourself in need of a fuse today? No, thank you. Okay, until next semester then. He smiles and then walks away. Continue where you were going. Um... Store is overgrown with vines. Oh. Uh, this trash can smells as good as it looks. Fraternity guy is tending to the barbecue here. Talk to him. Hey, what you doing? Q'in. What? 
It's a cute way of saying barbecue. Anyway, uh, here's one of the bad boys. Vegetable sausage. Ooh. A sausage shaped in the mass of leaves, mulch, and a potato skin casing. What is it? Plant-based sausage I'm working on. Is it any good? I didn't call it a good boy just now. I figured I'd need another. I don't know, 80 or 90 years to really get it right. I see. Well, thanks all the same. Don't mention it. Say, you like to queue? Uh, pointless secrecy. Exaggerate. Never tried it. Oh. Well, here. Have one of these queuing forks. Uh, I got like 10 of them. Once people find out you're queuing, you start getting them for every birthday in Crimbo. Yeah, fair enough. Gives you your mysticality plus four hot. Oh, gosh, thanks. He nods and returns to his queuing. You good there, kid? This guy is shivering and his teeth are chattering loudly. Ask him what's up. I was hanging out at that weird stone f frat and I left my j jacket back at the b bar. I'm freezing. <sighs> I guess there is a kind of unnatural chill in the air. I'm real susceptible to changes in, in the narrative atmosphere. If you're headed in the direction of... Lambda Iota Theta, could you stop in and grab my jacket for me? It's soft and comforting. Uh, sure, I quest maybe. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, kid. This mesk tree. Yeah. Wait, this is a mesquite tree? Unless you're a mesquite. Shave some chips off. Mesquite and chips. Um, this pot contains dozens of different kinds of flowers, all grafted together in some kind of weird smelling plant and sign. Harvest some of the materials. Uh, follow Philo Gnostic resin, assorted grease, and powerful grit. This cat is writhing around in a pile of catnip, either in agony or ecstasy. Get closer. You deftly avoid the flailing claws and gnashing teeth and give him a little scritch on his chin. And now you see his collar, which reads Sprig. New cat unlocked. You can now pet Sprig to receive a boon. Rub his belly now. You give old Sprig a brief belly rub and got Sprig's boon. Plus one muscle. Hey, thanks. Good kitty. Uh, this Shrubberman, it's a Shrubberman of some sort, I guess. Talk to him. Hey, what's up with the shrub you're working on? It's a new strain of super aloe. Ooh, I do like aloe. Oh, interesting. Now that you mention it, the leaves do kind of look like aloe vera, except they're wider. What do you mean wider? I mean, I have a massive... I have a massive aloe vera that's, like, piling out of itself. I don't know what you mean by wider. That's right. I'm trying to find the best balance between increased photochemical production and concentration. Well, how's that working out? Eh, pretty well. Now that I've given up on the crossbreeding it with toxic dendron radicans. Uh, here, have some ointment sample. Heal for 10 and remove on fire from target. Hey. Neat, thanks. Leaf. Frat guy is tending to a row of multi-smelling plants. He looks busy and you don't really have a reason to bother him. No. Oh. Plants are really hopping. Anyone get in here? Wow, the house is even more vined up from this side. Well, I mean... Uh... Wait, isn't there something I'm supposed to do with this guy? Um, okay, tell them they slept with the fishes. Take the mesquite chips back to the grilling guy at Zeta. Oh, okay. Um, and then go to Phi Epsilon Tau to get the jacket. Okay. We'll end up doing all of that next time, because that's all the time that we've got. So take care, everybody. <laughs>